Welcome back everyone. Today we are back with another TCM video. I know it's been a while. I apologize for that. I've been pretty busy IRL. So I haven't had a ton of time to sit down and make a video. And uh, I've honestly not had really much to talk about. You know, we had the big update on the 11th. We got Hands and Maria, which was super unexpected. Uh, that trailer was crazy, was fully not prepared to see Maria coming to the game. Uh, but I am happy nonetheless. And here we are, almost a week since then, and uh, I think it's time to talk about hands a little bit. So, hands. Um, positives. He's a lot of fun to play. He's very strong, a little loud, but he's pretty cool. Um, those are the pros. Cons? There really aren't any <laughs> if you prefer to play family. Uh, now, if you are a victim player, I I think there's a lot of cons that uh, and a, a lot of problems that you have with hands. The first one being uh, Ripstall maybe a little too strong. Now, there's a there's hands is a big package literally. Uh, he's a big character and he's got a lot to him. So he's kind of got three different things here. He's kind of got the Nancy treatment a little bit. But let's start with let's start with the simple thing. So hands, um, he's got his main ability, which is well, I guess that's the rip stall. I take it back. We're gonna talk about his traps. Hands got his traps, which he can put on metal things. Uh, most metal things, apparently, sliding doors aren't metal. I'm not sure what those are made out of. Maybe really thick aluminum or something. Um, <laughs> but he put his puts his electric traps on metal. It means crawl the crawl spaces, gates. And then you can do it on the exits. So valve, fuse box, battery, gen, all sorts of those things. Very strong, kind of acts the exact same as every other trap in the game, kind of like a cook lock and how you can use it. Um, but it, it can be disarmed with bomb squad or a bone scrap. So that's all in fine. Uh, my personal opinion, traps are good. No, no qualms with that. Yeah, it's another like, you know, lockdown character. I guess you could argue that um, he's still strong if paired with the other trappers, but for the most part, I don't, I don't think it's a big deal, truly. And it, and it affects your family. It's again, Nancy treatment. The people can go through the traps, hitch and sissy. Uh, hands has the same thing where, uh, you can zap your teammates and that's no good. So, but I think that's totally fine for him. The other ability he has is the barge, which for right now, I'm going to say is actually fine. It's a little tricky to hit. Um, the range on it is is much smaller than what you want it to be truly um, You you do have to be precise with it. So really the the, the most times I found a uh, good use of Having it be effective is hitting people going down wells hitting people just coming through a crawl space or a gap and um, Hitting people like if they're out of stamina basically if a victim runs out of stamina you have a better chance of getting it or uh, Actually, sorry the last one is if they're in a grapple with another family member It will it'll push them down and end that so lots of opportunities there to, to barge and get follow-ups Doesn't do a ton of damage off the rip. It does cost some stamina But overall, you know truly I, I, I think the barge is okay as well. I guess we'll see You know where it where it plays into the maybe future meta of the game, but for now, I think it's okay. So that aside, let's get into the meat of the things and Ripstall. So I think this is where most people have problems. There's not a ton you can do to prevent it. Um, it's it's pretty powerful. It basically makes Danny pointless um, because if Danny has tampered something, well, Ripstall overrides that. And I think I think that's the big thing. Same with Saboteur. It overrides Saboteur. I think I think to maybe help with these things, you need to give it a longer cooldown. Um, maybe make the mini game a little trickier because you do you do st it does still take a little bit of time to rip stall. You get like the one bar um, where you hit the skill check and then it goes. Um, so that takes a little bit of time, but again, it's super easy. It's just the one. It's not like Jen, you know, unless you have the um, it's just the one tap and then boom, whatever the the exit was is just done and uh the victims are screwed for the most part so i think that's where the big problem is they need to make the delay longer i would not be against making the mini game um stronger i know with his lore that might go against that a little bit you know suspension disbelief we'll see maybe they do that maybe they don't 
and then another potential solution would be i think maybe uh making it so he can only rip rip stall um one i guess escape method once per game i don't think that is i don't know how i feel about that one just yet i think that's certainly a solution and i would not be shocked if they maybe go that route it's it's sort of like with danny you know where um because i think i think it's easier if you look at danny because these characters are almost direct you know call and response to each other so if danny can only instant study or uh regularly study one item per game i think that it makes sense to kind of do the same with hands um now it's a little weird because with uh with danny if you tamper the fuse and or really anything if you tamper it um eventually when that gets turned back on or off uh the next time another victim goes to disable say the fuse for example it's still gonna be um tampered so i don't exactly know how you would counter that maybe maybe if uh say danny tampers the fuse hands comes over and rip stalls the fuse maybe in that instance well it's just not it's not tampered anymore and it the you know he rip, he takes the fuse out so then it kind of just goes back to a normal fuse um i think that's probably the best solution in that case and that would probably make everyone happy it's still very strong you know if, if you're a family and player it's still very strong you're completely denying that escape for the time being forcing the victims to find another you know item um for valve for valve refuse um for, for battery and generator rip stall it's nothing crazy uh you know you still do the thing it kind of just turns it back on instantly but i think it would be fine for that um and yeah so that that's that's really the big things with hands if we did want to make the cooldown longer i don't exactly know what the number is right now but looking at like the other the other uh victims connie's the fastest you can get is 240 leland 180 on a 135 and Julie 90. I think somewhere in about the two to three minute range is probably where I would move the delay for Ripstall. Two to two thirty may I don't know, three minutes feels maybe a little long just because, you know, if you if you're trying to balance multiple escapes, then three minutes is a long time. But who knows? Maybe that maybe they try it, maybe they adjust it in the future, and maybe that's what they roll with for the time being. Now, my hot take of this, I don't think Ripstall should be overridden by Tamper. I know I've seen some victim players, you know, say that it shouldn't override it, yada yada. I don't think that should be the case. I do think if it is tampered, Ripstall should still work on it. Um, same goes with Saboteur. I think I think if you make it so he can only Ripstall things one time, I think that's that happy medium because the next time you do it with the Saboteur or if, uh, well, I guess it wouldn't be tampered again because that would, you know, prevent that tamper. Um, or maybe they kept that in, truly. I don't know. Maybe they do keep the tamper on, but uh, I think that, I think you do need to get some Saboteur value because Ripstall would essentially fully negate Saboteur. It would negate tamper. I think that's where you find the happy medium. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. What, what, what are your thoughts on this? You know, I think the traps are fine. I think the barge is fine. Uh, I, I definitely do think Ripstall needs adjusted. I do expect it to be adjusted. Maybe we get that in this next patch on the June 25th. Maybe we don't. I, I do think... Um, I feel like they're gonna do it. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like in the past, the past uh, gun makes me think that maybe things won't be good with um, sumo. But now that it seems like Black Tower is fully in control on that side of things, man, I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping for some sort of uh, fixes here on the 25th. You know, if they can really nip it in the bud and get, you know, a quote unquote nerf hands, um, I think I think that'd be huge. You know, I. Ripstall is even a little buggy too. It seems like sometimes after you do it, um, it it's, it's it's like a delayed ripstall. I don't know what causes that. I'll post a clip here right now, but this happened on the mill the other night. Um, we were playing and uh, the ripstall was delayed and they each were getting zapped over and over. Sunny somehow escaped and then Hans was literally trapped out there. And uh, I think it was Nancy had to turn the battery off to let him back in. So 
definitely some weird bugs there, but you know, I'm sure that can be fixed. A couple other bugs from this patch, Sissy, they gave her slippery, she can't equip it. That's a minor thing, I'm not bothered by that, you know, it's the first time they've given a family member like a victim perk, so I expect there to be some hiccups. Some, some of the perks in like the bank of perks for each character still show the old ones like they got rid of unfortunately bringing home from the bake bringing home the bacon from leatherface is no more um it's listed there but you s it's not in the skill tree i'm sure they'll remove that um but yeah i mean that that the, that's the big stuff from this patch overall fantastic patch game feels brand new it's like a whole new experience um we got some leland outfits you know on the 25th i'm expecting them to i don't know if i expect I've got a really good feeling that they're going to fix Slippery. I got a really good feeling they're going to at least tweak hands in some way to help that out. And uh, I'm kind of thinking we probably get a family skin. I feel like we're due for that because what? We got Connie and Leland. These last two probably getting to get uh, some sort of family skin. Who we get? Who knows? I don't know. I'll, be ha I'll take whatever. <laughs> I will take whatever, but... Uh, I think that's all I got for now on this. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Am I crazy? Do we need to burn hands to the ground, nerf him to the ground, um, take him out back and have Maria sweet talk him so he helps the victims? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, if you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.